Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today if things look a little different, that's because things have a little more serious tone to them. Today is Memorial Day. So before I get to telling you a story of my memories of Memorial Day and what it means to me, I'm just going to show you some footage of this beautiful National Cemetery here in Tallahassee, Florida. So sit back with your cup of coffee and just think. Tell you right now, man, freedom ain't free. So Memorial Day, you know, a long time ago, it wasn't Memorial Day, it was Decoration Day, where they decorated the graves of the fallen. Started around the end of the Civil War, shortly after the Civil War. 
there's a lot of discussion of how it started, who started it, you know, as far as before it was a recognized holiday. Um, I think it's Waterloo, New York, around 1866 is the is the one who really claims the has the strongest grip on the beginnings of it, where business owners closed down their business to decorate the graves of the fallen. And it wasn't until World War II that this country really started to truly unify after the bloodiest war of our history, which was the Civil War. You know, it's amazing how it takes tragedy to bring a family together or a country together. And that's what World War II did. So Memorial Day for me, what does it mean for me and where does it come from for me? You know, I often think about this time in my life. I was a young boy and uh, our neighbor, his wife was over at our house. And this was back when they you could record with a little microphone on a little deck and she was recording a, a message for her husband who was in Vietnam. And the message was that she was pregnant. She was going to have a child. And uh, she was super excited about it. And then there was a knock on our door. And the door, when they opened it, of course had, you know the story, had the soldiers dressed up. And she was screaming no. She didn't want to hear what they had to say. Over the ensuing weeks and chaos and life, the first funeral I ever remember attending was that of Ronald Strobo, the young man who was married to the girl on our couch. And I was just a boy when we went to the funeral, and I remember seeing him in his dress uniform, thinking that, so this is what it really takes. This is what it really takes to have a free country to die with honor, to believe in your country. You know, this is not a political video. And if you have political comments, I'll, I'll delete them. This is one of honor. To honor those who have fought for this great nation of ours. It is a great nation. You know, my grandfather served in World War II. He lost many friends when he was over there. Yes, he killed real Nazis. He did. He cried about it until the day he died. How tough it was. But he came home. He assimilated to life. He worked hard. He took care of his family. And it wasn't until you cornered him and got him to talking about it that he would share his emotion at all. My Uncle Edward, who you've heard me talk about, served in the Korean conflict. He lost many friends. My father served in, in the Navy on a aircraft carrier I worked for the federal government for 23 years and my son is now in the United States Navy you know we love this country we really do and I'm grateful for every man or woman that has fought and served this nation and I'm eternally grateful for those who gave their lives no greater love does a man have for another than to lay down his life for his friends. I think that sums it up. Another thing I remember as a boy is wearing the POW MIA bracelets. For those of you from my generation, you remember that. We had little bracelets that we would wear that you would buy. It would have the, the name of the, of the soldier that you were honoring. And every day in the paper, they would, they would have a list of those who had come home or who they had found and when your servicemen that you were honoring came home you took the bracelet off you know that was a time was a crazy time in this country and we're in crazy times now so wherever you are on this Memorial Day I hope it marks fond memories tragic memories and the feeling that there are people out there who are willing to pay the ultimate price. I want you to take in a moment, take a deep breath, appreciate it all, <laughs> then go out and buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, 
You're doing it wrong, my friend. We'll see you on the road real soon. Go seize the day.